Hi, my name is Crystal Lazos. I'm the clinical director here at Cooper Hospital for Kellerman 9 Med Surge Tele. Um, we'd like to welcome you all to our Facebook Live today. I have some of my employees here with me and we're going to be answering some questions. And then um, if you guys have any questions to ask, please feel free to respond in the comments and we will do our very best to address them. Hi, I'm Jill Kernu. I am the clinical educator for Kellerman 9. I have worked at Cooper for about five years now. I worked as a staff nurse and I recently transitioned into the role of educator about six months ago. So I'm very excited about it. My name's Amanda. I've been here at Cooper for, a l I'm a med search nurse on the floor. I've been here for about a year and a half. Uh, new to practice, but I love it so far. <laughs> Great. So we have a list of questions here. We're just gonna jump right in. And like I said, feel free to ask any questions at the bottom in the comments if you if you think of anything. Um, so one of the questions we have here is, what does it take to be a med surge nurse on Kellerman 9 at Cooper? And um, that's a great question because I think that Kellerman 9, we set ourselves apart a little bit um, in, in respect to the fact that we have a great amount of teamwork. We have um, a big group of staff members and we all work really well together. We enjoy coming to work and um, while we're here, we're working, you're working very hard, but it's very re rewarding in ex its experience. Um, to be a med surge nurse, you have to be able to adapt to situations quickly. We have a high acuity of patients. Um, being the level one trauma center in the area, we get a lot of patients transferred here for escalation of care, and uh, patients wanna be here at Cooper uh, when they're sick. So um, in order to be a med surge nurse, you have to be, be adaptable to situations. You want to, be able to learn and learn quickly, and um, which is a great experience for new to practice nurses and experienced nurses. So do you guys have anything to add to that? Um, I think that's great what you said. It's even great for experienced nurses because I can promise you that mm -hmm. even if you've seen things at other hospitals, you're definitely gonna see a lot of things at Cooper, whether or not you've seen them before or not. So it's a really great experience for everyone. Yeah, that's a great point. Anything that you would like to add? I agree. No, yeah. okay. not right now. Okay. Um, another question that we have, and I think this is a good question for Amanda because she's one of our staff nurses that are, uh, that's, you know, in the trenches taking care of the patients every day. And it's what kind of patients do you typically encounter on your unit and what is your role in their care? Um, so I'm a bedside nurse. We see patients that come from all over the place. We get PACU um, patients. We get patients coming from the ER, um, all different levels of acuity. We get population ranging from age 19 to well over 100. Um, sometimes they come in from outside hospitals, sometimes they come in from home. So you get to see a little bit of everything on the floor. Um, surgical patients, everything, um, all different specialties, gynecology, um, urogyne, um, what else we see? Yeah, we also have a, a telemetry population on our floor mm -hmm. as well. We have some telemetry beds, so you will also see patients with um, cardiac issues, with uh, respiratory issues, kidney issues, liver. We really do see kind of the whole gamut of um, every type of diagnosis, which is which is interesting because you do have the opportunity to continuously learn. And I think that, that again, sets med surge apart from um, other specialties because you're specialized in knowing everything. So you can't just be specific and narrow focused on one particular type of patient because we we treat all of it and you have to have that um, extra ability to kind of know how to treat treat different kinds of patients which is mm -hmm. nice and then my role in their patient care I'm not only providing medication for them and any other type of um, nursing skills like wound care and everything but I'm also their advocate so sometimes you have to be the buffer between the doctors and the patients or the patient's family and the patient and you are there to be their emotional support if they need it too which is really nice. Yeah, we, we have a lot of um, cultural diversity here at Cooper as well. So um, in, in addition to treating them medically, we want to always make sure that we address people's emotional needs and, and um, everything like that. So we work collaboratively with a lot of different, um, different groups and different resources to try and get the patients exactly what they need. So um, you will be that advocate at the bedside for the patients too. And to make sure that they feel really supported while they're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So next question is, what makes med surge on your unit different from other med surge units? So on Kelman 9, um, as I said, you know, we have a lot of um, 
a lot of teamwork and team building. We have a unit-based council that um, Amanda's actually part of and mm -hmm. we encourage all of our nurses to become part of and that gives them the ability to kind of take control of issues that they find on the floor and, and um, come up with solutions and implement them on their own so it gives you that autonomy and that investment in the unit. They also build, do team building activities through the UBC, which is really nice. We um, have a Phillies game planned in, I think, June yes. that, that yep. uh, a lot of us are attending. And it's just a great way to have that team bonding outside of, outside of work because, uh, you know, we really do function as a family on our unit. And you have to. You have to be able to rely on each other. And that goes everywhere from our techs, our secretaries, our nurses, mm -hmm. um, our physicians, our APNs, everything like that. Um, Go ahead. You know. Um, so another thing that we do on our floor that's really awesome is we consistently promote um, meaningful recognition for our staff members. So we make sure to recognize someone who's doing a great job. So if a secretary is doing a wonderful job, we like to make sure that they know they're doing a great job, which is really nice, especially if you're you know, having a bad day or um, you have a more difficult group of patients. It's nice to know that you are being recognized for doing your best. So definitely as a new nurse, that was really helpful. Um, did you want anything else? Um, I just think the culture of Kalman 9 is really great right now and has been and can will continue to be. We have a lot of new nurses on the floor, new to practice, but we also have such a great group of experienced nurses who have really not hesitated to take any of the new nurses under their wing and everyone has just been so supportive and that support really helps motivate the new to practice nurses to just do the best they can and really to, go that extra mile for their patients because they know they have the support of each other. And doing these outside activities, like going to a Phillies game, really just helps strengthen the personal relationships between the staff, and that in turn is gonna help strength, strengthen the relationships at work as well. And really the only people who are benefiting from that, not only are the employees, but also the patients. Yeah, that's a really good point too. Um, I think also with with our floor, you know, and, and med surge in general, um, it, it's so important to the foundation of your nursing practice. So whether you are a new to practice nurse or an experienced nurse, uh, you know, you come to our unit and other med surge units in the floor and you become a really, really strong proficient nurse because you do see so much of everything and you have the ability to practice those skills constantly on, on um, a daily basis, 12 hours during your shifts. Um, so you, you develop that critical thinking ability and you become that advocate for your patient and it gets to a point where you're almost thinking ahead and you're becoming proactive with their care. And I think that's really a, um, a, a specialty that, that we have on, on our unit and med surge units mm -hmm. in, at Cooper. I think to branch off on that too, um, a big thing on the floor also, since we do have a lot of new nurses, I was a new nurse a year ago, um, it's, there's a lot of learning. Everyone is willing to teach, willing to show someone else something new. Our educator is always showing us classes. We are a newer tele unit. So we did have our tele class. Um, when we finished, we got these really cute little pins <laughs> that show we're tele certified. But it's nice. It's a learning dynamic. So you're always encouraged to learn something new. Mm -hmm. And from leadership, it's our job to help promote that as well. So we take pride in the fact that we want all of our nurses to continue learning and becoming better and, and stronger, again, for themselves, but, but for the patients mm -hmm. as well. So Jill kind of coordinates a lot of our um, learning opportunities, and that starts from you know the, the minute the nurses come in the door, um, you have your orientation, and then Jill sets them up with um, different kinds of classes, because mm -hmm. we have a lot of learning opportunities at Cooper as a whole, which is really nice and continuing education opportunities. So yeah. do you want to talk about a little bit about the educational opportunities? Sure. So what we've been doing now is when a, a med surge nurse, especially if they're new to practice, will go over some med surge skills during their week of orientation. Um, during their orientation, we also like to set them up with um, some rounds with the wound care nurse so they can get some experience with that. I'm not sure if the other floors have been doing this, but I think it may be specific to Kalman 9 that we're also having our new to practice nurses spend some time with the clinical operation directors and then that way they can see kind of the throughput through the hospital and see how those worlds work kind of because we do get a lot of patients from other units and from the emergency room so kind of just to see the why of everything um, and just to interject there it gives them more of a global perspective mm -hmm. of what things are like in the hospital yeah definitely um, we do like all of our um, nurses to 
get into the tele class within the first six months mm -hmm. of their hire. Um, from that, we like to go into ACLS, and then there's so many professional growth opportunities here at Cooper. There's so many classes you can take. The new to practice nurses will be enrolled in something called nurse residency, which is really to give them a better global perspective of all the things that happen in the hospital and the way that each thing really, every unit and every department depends on each other to work well, and it's kind of like a well-oiled machine. And once all those parts are moving together, it's really best for the patient. Um, we have so many classes. We have the Stop the Bleed class, the first five minutes. We do um, a code review class. So there's really so many opportunities for learning, especially for new nurses and experienced nurses too, because you can you never really want to stop learning. And that's what's so great about the med surge floors is that in such a short amount of time, you see so much, you really become such a great clinician. And one thing we've recently been doing too is for our more experienced nurses, and if we um, were to receive any experienced nurses, we're promoting or encouraging our nurses with more than two years of experience to get um, med surg certified. So it's just another you know, certification and um, just to show how specialized and how proficient you are in your ability to be a nurse and um, kind of recognize that, which is nice. So the next two questions kind of go a little bit hand in hand. It's uh, who is the best candidate for your role and what qualifications are you looking for? So again, we're looking for new to practice nurses. We are looking for experienced nurses. Um, anyone that's willing to come be a part of our our team and really um, take off and promote the unit and and want to be invested in our uh, med surge care that we give to our patients. Um, I also from a personal perspective, I want people who are going to work as a team. I want people who are going to come in for their 12 hour shift and give 100%, 100% of the time that are willing to learn and um, willing to work with us to make the unit better because we're always looking to strive to be um, better every day that we're there. And um, also from a leadership perspective, you know, we want to have a good relationship with our staff. So we want to have that um, open communication, so be able to communicate uh, what your needs are so that I can try and help, um, you know, give you the resources to do the best that you can. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, ditto. <laughs> Agreed. The next question is, when are you looking to fill this position? So, the great thing about Kelly and Nine is we have uh, positions open for right away. We have full-time, we have part-time, we have night shift, we have day shift. So, um, whatever you're looking for, we have open positions right now. So, we can we can accommodate that. And next question, what should candidates expect if they're asked to interview? So if you're asked to interview, what you would first do is meet, meet with our HR department, and then um, you would be taken to our unit directly, and you would meet with me and um, possibly Jill, or I have two associate clinical directors, Sue Miller and Michael Brumbach, um, who will also take part in the interview. So we'll go through questions and everything like that, and we'll be able to answer anything that you have, tell you a little bit about the unit and see if you're a good fit. And then we actually take you out on the unit to tour and see what it's like, um, because we can tell you what it's like as, as much as possible, but until you physically get out there and put your eyes on it, um, you can't really understand what it's like. So you get to you get to meet the staff a little bit. We we walk you around, and then um, you have the ability to ask any more questions. And it's a like I said, it's a good way to see what see the action in real time because it's it's uh, I like to say controlled chaos. It's always really busy on the unit, but um, the staff is really great at keeping everything under control and under wrap. So uh, it can be exciting to step out on that unit. And. Why do you love working at Cooper? Okay, you start with this one. <laughs> well, I love working at Cooper. And I guess to put it into perspective a little bit, I have, I've worked here for five, five and a half years, like I've said, but since the day I started working here, I actually live in Bucks County. So I commute almost an hour here every day back and forth. So if I didn't love Cooper, I probably would not want to do that anymore. <laughs> but I love Cooper because it really is like a family. And from the minute I walked in the door those many years ago, I've really felt that. And I've made some of my lifelong best friends here. I've learned so much here. And there's really so much room for you to grow professionally. 
and to not only become a great clinician, but to become also a great person. Um, the Cooper core values are something that you're able to stand behind every day as a, a human being, and that's the type of people that we want here. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've also been here uh, five years, just like Jill, and I came from another facility. So I left another facility to be at Cooper because um, of the, not only the great reputation that it has, but the skills that it that I've learned um, by being here. I came here as a staff nurse. I was in cardiology, then the emergency department, then I moved in um, the management direction. So it, it gives you a great opportunity to, to grow, again, as a person and as a nurse, which is fantastic. And um, everyone that you come across here is just, you know, they kind of, they can change your life, really. And whether you're a patient or a coworker, um, I love being here. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. It's, it, and it helps you be invested in what you're doing every day because you, I enjoy coming to work. I wake up every day and I'm like, all right, time to go to work. <laughs> Not a problem. I love it. Say bye to my dogs and come on in. <laughs> um, it, it's just a great place to become a, a strong, proficient, foundational nurse and, and use that to your betterment in the future. Well, I love working here. So when I graduated from nursing school, um, I went to school in Philly and I would actually take Patco right past Cooper every day. And I decided about halfway through nursing school, I said, that's where I want to work. <laughs> um, I feel like this would be able to give me just a huge foundation for my very new nursing career. And I was very right. My floor has given me incredible opportunities to learn. Um, management's awesome. My coworkers are amazing. Um, so it's really just a family and I always feel super supported on the floor, which I feel like is incredibly important as a new nurse. Um, I see such a variety of patients that I feel like all my, I'm able to practice all of my skills um, and just perfect them so that way hopefully someday um, I'll be able to just take my nursing career to the next level, whether it's management or wherever. Um, but I really do love coming to work at Cooper. I feel like I'm never bored. Um, the shifts fly by. <laughs> um, and it's a lot of fun. I get to learn a lot. So. Yeah. Amanda actually functions as one of our preceptors as well. So when we have um, new to practice nurses or experienced nurses who join our facility, um, you may come across Amanda and she's one of our, our highly trained, very um, proficient preceptors who who partners with our new employees to um, teach them how to be a, a, a Cooper nurse, not just any nurse, but a Cooper nurse, because I, we really are a step above the rest. <laughs> That's right, we are. <laughs> so, um, well, do you, anybody else want to add anything else? Anything Don't like think to say? so. No? At the moment. You? No. No? No. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining us here today. We uh, had a great time. We're very excited. We're glad that we could explain to you what uh, Cooper Nursing and Cooper Med Surge at On Kellerman 9 is like. Um, if any of you out there watching feel that you would be a good fit and that you wanna join our team, please feel free to apply. There's more information in the comments section that can uh, help you facilitate how to get, how to become a part of our team. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We can't wait to meet you. Yes. <laughs>